Hello students, in the last video I have completed the capitalization of super profit method topic. In this video, I am going to cover the second part under capitalization that is capitalization of average profit method. This is going to be the last part of methods of valuation of goodwill. Let's start. So, when we have studied the capitalization of super profit method, what I have told you? I have told you when the value of business or value of the firm is more than the capital employed, there is the case of what? Goodwill. Right. Same way when we calculate goodwill using capitalization of average profit method, we have to take over few things. I am going to provide you step by step calculations how to calculate goodwill. Okay. So, introduction. Under capitalization method, the value of the whole business is determined by applying what? Normal rate of return. Normal rate of return is amount which I am going to earn normally in my business cycle. Right. So if such value which I'm arriving at is higher than the money I've invested, that is capital employed, it results in what? Goodwill. Perfect. Let's go ahead with the formula for calculation under this method. Formula to calculate goodwill as per average profit method capitalization is capitalized average profit minus the actual capital employed now actual capital employed you already know right we have studied it when we were studying super profit method when we were studying annuity method but what does capitalized average profit means let's understand step by step calculation for this method step number one calculation of capitalized average profit how do we calculate that Capitalized average profit is calculated by average profit multiplied by 100 upon normal rate of return. Now, average profit, this is the first method which we have studied. What was the method? Average profit method. How do we calculate average profit? Total adjusted profit upon number of years. Simple. Multiplied by 100 divided by NRR, that is normal rate of return. Normal rate of return is given to you in the question. Right? Step number two. Under step number two, I am going to calculate capital employed. Usually it is given in the question, but in case if it is not given, we have two approach. First one was what? Liability approach. Second one was what? Asset side approach. Same we have studied in the super profit method. The methodology remains the same. There is no change at all. So under liability side approach, what do I do? Capital plus reserves minus goodwill if it is existing in the books, less any kind of fictitious assets, less non-trade investment. About non-trade investment, I told you one thing. What was that? That in case they are saying that trade investment, then you have to take it as trade. Otherwise, assume it to be non-trade investment. Under asset side approach, what do we do? We take the total of the assets from it. We deduct what goodwill, fictitious assets, non-trade investment, if any, and outsiders liabilities. For example, creditors, outstanding salary. Simple. Second step to calculate capital employed. The third step is finally calculation of goodwill. Calculation of goodwill is given by the formula capitalized average profit, which we have calculated in what? Step number one minus actual capital employed. Okay, so this was the formula steps. How do we calculate? Now we are going to solve an illustration to get a better understanding. Let's read the question carefully. Okay, the net tangible asset value is given to you as 4,10,000. Then average profit for the last four years is directly given to you as 60,000. You are required to calculate what? Goodwill under capitalization method. Now, you need to decide there are two methods under capitalization. First one is capitalization of purchase of super profit method. Other one is capitalization under average profit method. How do I understand which method to use? Now, it depends on the question. Since in this question, average profit is given to you, no data about what? Uh, this uh, normal profit is not given to you and again if it is also given you can judge upon yourself that you want to use capitalization of average profit method or you want to use which method capitalization of super profit okay so 
if reasonable return on capital invested is 12%, what does it mean? It is your normal rate of return, which is always given to you in the question. Let's start solving the question. Step number one. What is step number one? I need to calculate capitalized average profit. It is given by the formula average profit multiplied by 100 upon normal rate of return. Okay, so my average profit is readily given to you in the question that is 60,000 rupees. So 60,000 multiplied by 100 upon normal rate of return. How much is the normal rate of return? It is 12%. So if I divide 60,000 into 100 by 12%, it gives me 5 lakh rupees as what? Capitalized average profit. Step number two, I need capital employed. There are two approach to calculate capital employed. First one is liability approach. Second one is asset approach. Simple. So let's see what is given to you in the question. If I see I am only given the net asset tangible value, right? I am having no information about liability side. So can I say this net tangible asset is my capital employed. So 4 lakh 10,000 rupees becomes my capital employed right step number three is valuation of goodwill it is given by the formula capitalized average profit minus capital employed which is step number one minus step number two let's do it so my capitalized average profit less capital employed is the formula so my capitalized average profit I have got as rupees 5 lakhs minus my capital employed is my net asset value. So finally my goodwill amounts to rupees 90,000. So we are done with the capitalization of average profit method. It is very simple, right? So in this video, we have completed all the methods of valuation of goodwill, starting from average profit method. Then we have completed in video number two, super profit method, video number three, annuity method, video number four, capitalization using super profit method. And in this video, capitalization using average profit method. In the next video, I'm going to start the accounting treatment of goodwill in case of admission of partner. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you.